my next guest, he is, well, he is a person that's been and done just about anything in the entertainment world, whether it's MMA kicking us on the ultimate fighter, whether it's reality TV, whether it's WWE tough enough, this man has done it all. He's got some cr a crazy journey here. I'm very happy and honored to introduce to everyone, Jeremiah Riggs. How you doing, Jeremiah? Man, appreciate it, dude. How you doing? Just, just getting ready to get, get, get ready to get back in that square circle, man. Yeah, man, I didn't, I didn't even talk about BKFC, man, but you got an upcoming fight, last-minute fight uh, this Saturday night, correct? Yeah, 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 against a good opponent. You know, we took a we took a seven-day notice <clears throat> on, a, on a game guy, you know, um, Connor Tierney, UK. Big opportunity, you know. Uh, I, you know, you got to stay ready for these opportunities, and, you know, when the, when the boss man calls, you know, uh, you, you just answer the, the phone call and, and be ready, you know. Uh, I think this is a very good opportunity, very good skill set, good opponent. You know, I couldn't ask for for, for, for better to represent the, the BKFC uh, United States uh, a family. Yes. Against, uh, a very, very game opponent, you know. Yeah. He's, I hope he's saying the same thing, man, because you're no slouch either, man. You're one known BKFC. The Your first opponent didn't make it past two minutes. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you, you're doing some work, man. So hats off to you. Yeah, thank you. You know, it's just hard work. You know, I'm down here on the coast. Uh, you know, me and Alan Belcher's have been been training for years uh, together, but us back together, um, and and some other partners of mine, uh, uh, Brian Foster included. Uh, just we've just put a good game plan together in these last uh, since last year up up coming now to, to to my game and our fighting skills. You know, Jeremiah. For you, man, you know, you, again, you, I, I can honestly say you looks like you've done it all, man. You've competed in just about every single thing, whether it's bull riding, whether it's MMA, whether it's reality TV, whether it's just wrestling. Why bare knuckle now? Why bare knuckle? Man, I, I'll be honest with you. I think it just brings me back to the to the fighter that I really am um, or, or I've become. Uh, you know, uh, it's funny. You know, I've told the guys when, when we kind of got back into training and everything, uh, you know, I said, man, I think that, that, that these gloves has just hindered hindered me a lot in my career a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. I think this coming out has given a lot of guys like myself uh, and or vet, vets to the game that's that's done the mixed martial arts and stuff for so many years. Uh, it, it's it's, it's a, I think if you if you live that fighting style, you know, to me it's like why not? But but going back to just them roots of of just that traditional. It's just that art, man. I just I love it. I think it's uh it's just right up my alley. It's not for everybody, uh, but I, I think if you're a true, true uh, inspirational to the fight game, I mean you got to do it. Uh, it, it's just, man, it's it's a, as a it's a competitive level at a at just another, just another atmosphere. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jeremiah, it's it's crazy, right? You're you're an athlete, right? You're in shape. Um, you're a tough guy, and that's been showcased uh, throughout. You know, like I told you, I've, I've watched you for a long time. I've watched your career. You don't fear anything, right? You no, fear I mean, you know, no, I don't. I wouldn't call anything fear. I mean, I think that uh, as we grow into things, you know, we use that uh, as a as a as a tool. Uh, I think as as more as open minded as you get in a fight game, you see these guys leveling up. The the the, the some of the top tier guys, you know, I think you got to tap into that and, and, and kind of use that. <clears throat> I'm not going to say that I've ever been fear. I may be fear less, yeah. uh, but it, it's kind of just a thing. I just kind of harness, you know, really in to myself of just knowing that, you know, you know, I, I accepted the challenge of, of, of where I, of what I am. And it's really sometimes just figuring out yourself. Now, we're in 2022 right now. It's March 7, 2022. Let's go back to 20 yeah. to 2008. Ultimate yeah. Fighter Season 7. You went in there, tried out. It didn't go your way, man. What did you take from that journey, that opportunity? Because a lot of people were impressed by you, man. A lot of people were I'm impressed by you. I'm glad you asked that question. You know, the last couple of days on, on this, I've been thinking a lot of, of, of actually Dana White. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, I, I, I really, I really, I respect Dana. Uh, just, you know, back then I always carried something that he always told me, you know, you know, I said, man, you know, this, this guy's this guy, ain't no joke. He's good. You know, and with a lot of, you know, just that extra proper training and, and, and going uh, that, that one day I, I would be, be something bigger than, than what I was. And I think I've, I've realized that and I've gotten that training and, and I've always carried that, 
uh, along with other things that he's told me before. Um, and, and another uh, person on that show, uh, you know, Juanito, uh, that was our boxing coach. You know, he's he's been a real inspiration in my life that's carried on through since that time frame. So I've, I really soaked that in in my training of what these guys have given me, Rampage and, and all of them. And, and since then, it, since then to now, it's really just of uh, how many years dedication and the, the nine quit and keep going and keep going and, and just them words of wisdom of going, hey man, you know you you right there at the, the top level with anybody. And I and when you believe in that, when you have people that you listen to and you take that in perspectives of of what you of what these guys see every day you know that's that's greatness and, and you can only do something but but take the greatness in or out of it you know after the show did you ever get any other interactions with dana or or rampage because oh, they were really impressed yeah of course you know uh, even after that even in in the mix of my careers you know i've been to vegas and done some training uh and i've seen them and you know everybody i don't think i'm too uh, easy of a guy to forget about so uh <laughs> i i kind of keep that mark you know, uh, you know, I might not be number one in your heart, but I'll always be on your mind. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of respect for the people that, that respect me for sure. You know, no, def definitely. Now, again, didn't go your way, right? T 2008, man. What did you right. do afterwards? What what went through your head? How did you bounce back from that? Man, I just kept digging. You know, uh, you know, after that, you know, like I said, I've always been. Uh, been with with guys like Belcher and, and then you know of course going into uh can't hear me right now. I, I can still hear you a little bit yeah you're good you're good uh, around for you but like you know just 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 the the dedication you know you got to get to where um there's a point of just saying you know you, you can't take you can't let all them bad bad things or something come let it come to an end and that damn all that hard work and dedication wasn't for nothing, you know? So that's just my mindset. I've always wanted to finish what I've started, you know, uh, and that, that kind of bling, still brings me along with the journeys that I, I'm, I'm going into today, uh, even with bare knuckle, you know, it's fin you know, it's just kind of finishing, finishing something I started years ago and just kept on track with, uh, you know, it's always been on my mind. I've always just dug, dug, dug and, and kept digging, um, uh, but that's just the fighter inside of me and the guy that I've, that I've become, you know, in my life. Uh, you can't quit, you know, especially when you want something. Uh, not everything's going to go your way. But uh, for me, it was, you know, if you want it, you can go get it, you know. You just, it's just up to you. Ain't nobody going to give it to you. Well, Jeremiah, you left an impression on me. So I remember watching that, that season as it aired. And, uh, again, you're impressive just how, you know, again, Dana and Rampage talk, spoke about you, right? I thought, okay, he'll be back. You know, we'll, we'll, I'll see this guy again. A little bit that I know, my sister, I blame this on my sister, I swear, guys. But she's watching TV, right? She's flipping through the TV channels. And uh, and then she's watching a VH1 show, Daisy of Love, I believe the name was, <laughs> right? And then I see a guy, and and you had a lot more hair there at the time there. And, and you look so familiar, like, man, is that uh, Jeremiah Riggs? Is that because I think, uh, what is it, uh, Rampage called you Mississippi? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I was like, is that Mississippi there? And then I, I, was, I kept watching and got my attention. I was like, oh, crap, it is. So you were in VH1. I was very surprised. How did that come about, man? Man, honestly, just a friend that's been along with this journey in my whole whole career, my whole life. Uh, he, he hit me up one time. I was like, I got you, bro. You're in. You know what I'm saying? And he's always just, even with the ultimate fighter, uh, just keeping up with things to, 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 to better my career. You know, yeah. hey, man, would you do this? And Yeah, let's check this out. You know, so it was kind of a, it was a pretty cool environment in, 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 in my life. And yeah. to be honest, that, 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 that took me, my mindset to a whole nother level of how, how things come together, the 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 the, the things that we're doing now and, and yeah. stuff like that. So it was really cool to experience that for sure. It, it really was, um, and, and it was good for the my career, honestly too. I mean, if you want to say that, I mean, we didn't, we wasn't looking at it like that more or less now than I now that I see it, you yeah. know, now, you know. 
Now, reality TV show, trial TV in general, which can kind of be tricky. I mean, was any of that stuff scripted? Uh, I mean, I think I can ask this, right? It's been 13 years. Yeah, no. Um, actually, no. Uh, I tell people all the time, you know, uh, the, the, the shows that you see, I mean, uh, no, nothing's scripted at all. You know, I never read off a piece of paper. I mean, it was... It is what it is. It is what you see, you know. So um, now I'm pretty sure there are uh, things on reality TV where I've watched and probably said, "Yeah, that's scripted." But no, no, not at all. Oh, it was, it was a uh, legit thing as you get. Yeah, you know. So and then there was a good time. I really appreciate, still appreciate the VH1 51 Minds uh, crew. Uh, they, they've always been great to me. Yeah, I remember, was it like, there's a match between you and this guy, a 12-pack? Yeah, 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 <laughs> he's a good guy, yeah, we still keep in touch, he's yeah. good, he's doing good too, old Dave, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to see him pretty soon, yeah, he's doing real good, I keep in touch with a lot, actually, some of them have been just some of, uh, Weasel, Polly, Six Gauge, all these guys, man, they've, they've been a big part of my life, honestly, they really have, we've all kept in touch, been, uh, become friends at the i've got a lot a lot of say family from the vh1 crew hey well, i'm happy to hear that man it looks like it, it was a very positive thing for you yeah no doubt yeah i mean i was just talking uh with chelsea little hood uh just yesterday yeah i'm probably are we going we got us a little deal we're going uh probably next weekend down to florida gonna have a little reunion so i get to i get to see these these friends that this become a good family group quite often you know we, we we do keep in touch all right so it, it was it was a good moment for you it was a good time for you oh for sure like i mean uh, the journey that i've lived and, and the things that i've done i've been very grateful for and the people that i've met uh, I, I couldn't man i mean it's they're just like i've known them my whole lives you know now after that you did another show how was that experience like for you yeah man you know um after that you know i was staying competitive you know, I got in the WWE, uh, kicked it around with Stone Cold, uh, Broken Skull Ranch, stuff like that. Man, that that was really, <clears throat> I mean, it, it's, it's in the pinnacle of my athletic career to be able to see me and I always know, you know, I, I, when I was a kid growing up, you know, I said, you know, I didn't have to say one specific thing I wanted to do. I just wanted to be a professional athlete. Yeah. And the things that I've done in my life, you know, can be marked down as, very few people have done 100 uh, and willing to do and, and you know i don't need no credit for that i i know that that's just pretty cool uh but um yeah just going into something like that you know very new but very skillful i mean i, I give it props you know people in wfd that's a very skillful craft i mean it's a technique it's 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 real it's real uh it's it's really pretty damn brutal on the bottom I mean, you taking the bumps i mean them guys you got it's physical very fucking physical man yeah. i uh, always said that no matter who likes me or who i don't like in that world and i don't not dislike anybody in that world it's kind of a weird thing with wwe and all you know whatever but i, I give mad props to them guys i mean them i've never i've never uh even when i was away from wd I've never felt blacklisted or blackballed from any of them guys. It's business. It is what it is. And I enjoyed uh, becoming um, up into that uh, and being able to live that experience with such a high level group. That show was tough enough because that you were able yep. to take a part of it. Yes. It's so well, um, you know, again, the outcome wasn't the one that you wanted. I thought you did very well. You stood out a lot. Um, what did you take from that experience? Do you talk to any of the guys? from that show at all oh absolutely man i mean i still keep in touch with stone cold I, i've talked to demont bill DeMott. i mean i've talked to the trainers yeah you know, me and luke uh we we were just as good friends now as we was when we met on the show uh i was talked to martin i talked to aj i mean I, yeah we all keep in touch uh most some of us um and that's a that's a cool thing i mean just going into that world and, and watching these other guys grow and, and they kind of we, we all kind of still feed off each other. And that's what you do at that level, man. Uh, that professional hype, you know, you, you got to have these guys feed off of it. And some of it, I don't think it ended up maybe good. Uh, any of us wanted, but I think out of that, all of us got a lot from it. If that yeah. makes, sense. you know, uh, For sure. I take a lot of different things. Uh, Cause the WWE ain't going nowhere. Hell I ain't either. You don't ever know. 
with them. They could easily call me up and say, you want to, you want to come beat up on somebody? Hell yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, it's business. So, um, and it is what it is, but yeah, I fucking took that in with great experiences and what I'm doing in my life. And I mean, all that shit brought me to now, you know, really, I look at that, you know, uh, the training I did with the WWD, just that hard, you know, just, it's not the mental, t- I mean, the bull ride, just the fucking MMA, everything, see, da, 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 da. it's been able to gift me what I'm going into uh, preparation now, all the mindset, uh, man, you know, I've been doing this shit for over 15 years, and then it's, it's just, it's become, it's become really open-minded to, this is my time to shine, you know what I mean? very 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 humbled and thankful for everybody that's been in there with me you know you're as real as it gets so I'll, I'll ask this you know because again you know, there's a lot of there was a lot there's a lot of talent with you you know a lot a lot of great spots so when you went through fcw right which was like the double developmental best yeah. friend yeah they didn't pick you up after that there were reports yeah. people were saying that you did you rub people the wrong way you didn't get along with people i want to give you the chance man what's your side of the story when it comes to these things man all falls to uh, that stuff yeah i mean dude it, it is like i said it, it is what it is it, it was it was really just honestly it was probably more misunderstandings than anything uh i'm not throwing anybody in the bunch i mean as far as a mentor or a coach you know it was easily pulled aside i didn't do anything or disrespect the sport um and i wouldn't have uh even though um, even I remember, I guess there's a promo cut, da, 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 da. I mean, even when I slipped up, motherfucker, you know, it's catching myself. I was having a good time. <laughs> um, it just some things I think uh, that really honestly what it was was a mic drop. You know, I, I never really um, thought about that. But I kind of after my deal, you know, you, I was really more into playing into the part and wanting to know be broke down i was really freestyling um and i think that was a thing that might have threw a lot of people off you know my being real and just i don't come off as a as an asshole or a jerk you know and even if i walk in a building and have that presence i mean i've always respected anybody in any form of, of 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 information or athlete so when that happened man you know I mean, it was simple. Me and Dusty Rose kind of, it really wasn't even anything other than just a man talk in the office. Um, and I might have bucked the system, but I mean, fuck, that happens when you, you with any ball friends. Yeah. I think it could have been handled a lot differently. Um, I think so too. And I'm not going to say more or less on my part or whatever, but I mean, as far as mentorship, you know, it could have been like, look. Yeah. Uh, and that's kind of what threw me off about it. But, I mean, I don't hold it against what happened. Like I said, that was a uh, uh, – man, so much shit's changed since then. Uh, but uh, – and I don't resent it. I mean, dude, I have I tell Vince McMahon today, Triple H and all, Stone Cold, Dale DeMott, Booker T, uh, shit, um, all of them um, – Th- you know thank you for the opportunity oh that was yeah i'd never i'd never shy from that um trish stratus too i don't want to forget her but <laughs> uh just very just hard to forget that, that was a big that was a big you know big big part of my life and and i look up to them people i mean coaches man that's what they do uh dusty wrote you know they i took that you know me being a professional athlete yeah i probably could have handled it differently but even the negative criticism or whatever come my way yeah. i accepted it yeah it was all sure. good you know it's kind of, i never took it no more than a coach saying you know carry your ass off my field or whatever you know hey all right i'm not gonna quit them yeah for sure so that's kind of what i took from that and uh yeah. but it, it's molded me man it's molded me you know it's the best some of the best times of my life yeah how intense is bill demont he seems Bill's really pretty intense, intense. Yeah, he is, but Bill's a Bill's I uh, Bill's a good solid motherfucker, man. I really uh, he has a big heart. Um he I really had a lot of respect for him. I wish he would have been one of the ones that really I was kind of looking for his guidance even at FCW, you know, like hey. Yeah. <laughs> but like I say, things work out the way they should work out. 
uh, I never was like, oh, this motherfucker, la la, no, fuck that. Uh, we've actually talked since then, and and I real I really been really wanting to go see him, see them guys. But yeah, no, he he is intense, but you just got to realize the intensity is because when he believes in you and you know you got good, and and you know you be, he he knows that people you're that you're better than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and and I still have very big moments that I carry in with myself with Bill, you know, even today, I still think about him and the little talks we've had. And I, and I remember things that he's, he said. Definitely. You For know, sure. I mean, people are scared for intensity, right? I mean, people care. It's the drive yeah. they're pushing you, you know? So yes. it's always big. So how has life been ever since, uh, you know, tough enough for you, man? Did you continue to wrestle? Um, what, what else besides from the time frame of tough enough to be KFC? Man, I really just stayed busy, but in 2015, I was picked up bull riding. You know, that was something I always was intrigued with. And I just I just wanted to step away from something totally different and go beyond the the, the circle of really life, I guess, if you want to call it. And, yeah. um, man, ever since then, I've been repping my boy right here, David Berry, the Berry Ranch in Locust Grove, Oklahoma. Big shout out to him. He's – man, I always tell him, I say, tra uh, bull riding's trained me for bare knuckle as far as just that mentality goes uh it's been a really wild but um uh, i just it's a whole nother aspect of life same big group of friends i mean everything that i've journeyed upon has just been so so rapid so cool uh, a lot of love and support and uh, just going into bare knuckle you know that's kind of something that's just been itching on uh, that was scratching the surface back in 2018 you know a lot of people didn't know that because i really wasn't like pursuing it i wasn't looking to fight you know i was just kind of living you know what i mean um and then just some things just you have a gravitational pull in life and when you gravitated to something and a door opens you just just walk in that motherfucker and smile and say i'm here and that's kind of where I, I feel like i was meant to be you know what, what uh experience now that we've gone through you know from 2008 now to here 2022 what experience stands out the most to you uh i couldn't say probably just necessarily one um because i got so many moments um flashes i would say there's flashes of of it in bits i couldn't just say yeah. what's the first one, one that you think of i mean stone cold okay um i do think of just knowing you know just in the realm of things just my abilities you know what i'm saying yeah uh someone just of all the greatness i've done and have the greatness look down upon me um yeah that was a, a good one and and a lot of other things but um i've got a lot of moments and people yeah. people i think share the same moment with me so I, i'm not leaving anybody out they know <laughs> no well you know it's it's crazy rumors right rumors are a thing stone cold may come back there's a rumor that uh, he, he may come back to wrestlemania yeah, I think he should, man. Why not? Yeah, how is uh your conversations with him? How is your experience with uh, Stone Cold himself, a legend? Man, it's good, dude. He's I think he's about as real as they get. Like me, I think that's why me and him get along. I mean, you know, we have our times, even if it's just once or twice a year. Um, great guy. I mean, I I couldn't ask for a better motherfucker, you know, to have my back for sure. Um, just always been a great inspiration since i was a kid you know shit who who don't like who don't who ain't inspired by stone cold you know what i'm saying oh uh, yeah jeremiah what's your goal in 2022 man to get be a champion get that strap around my waist that's just that's the goal man to, to finish you know i want to i want to live my legacy uh in in everything on a good note with me uh continue to bare knuckle uh seal just seal seal my legacy in the next couple of years or however my life tracks um and just just become that hall of famer or, or that 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 legend that i know I, I can and hopefully give back to the community and to the kids or somebody out there that that knows that you know hey just never give up no guts no glory just if you want it you can get it it's not going to be beautiful every day but it's, it's as beautiful as you make it now for you you know this saturday 
what can the audience expect from you when you step in and fight for bare knuckle in New York too? USA, USA, USA. I'm excited, man. Anything you want to let the audience know as we're near the end here? Man, I just want to appreciate you. I want to appreciate the support. Guys like you have given me the ability to do what I do. You know, the the, the drive, uh, the fans, the the friends. I mean, I don't look at just say a fan. It's their friends, you know, people that's come into my life, people that's given me opportunities like you have to speak out. Uh, man, I appreciate it. And I, and I hold that true and humble. And going into that fight, that's what I carry with me. I carry everybody with me, and it's okay because I know I can carry that. You know, it's not a it's not a heavy load. You know what I'm saying? I carry it with pride. I carry it with a smile on my face. And um, every every time, every every second in going into Saturday, everybody's gonna know it was for them. You know what I'm saying? This is for the people. Now, well, I can't wait to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Jeremiah Riggs, BKFC fighter. He's stepping in and going to get some work done in. Hopefully a finish here this Saturday Thank night you. in New York, too. Excited to watch it. Jeremiah from Cruel Condition Sports will be watching. Nothing but support, man. To all the audience, thank you for listening. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye. Thanks.